have here at uh, Crow's Nest Lake. I'm going to do uh, kind of ice thickness part two here. Uh, I've used an ice scoop before. And, you know, it works really well for testing ice thickness. Uh, safe, safe for skating thickness is four inches. This is about double that. It's eight inches. Now on this ice surface, you know, we can actually see that we've got solid ice here. Uh, boy, that's at least two feet thick. Um, but one of the things to keep in mind, and I'm going to drill, I'm going to dem re demonstrate the ice crew here just for the sake of it, but just over there around the corner where there's a water outfall that comes out of the mountain from a spring is actually open water. So it does change depending on you know how quickly the water is moving and how warm the water is. We got two feet of ice right here. Over there is open water. I saw it on the way here. So you got to keep that in mind. In this case, you know we can see the fractures here, so we're getting a good indicator. But a lot of times, you know, the ice is opaque. There's no cracks. You can't see. So you've got to do the test. And my advice would be, you know, the area you're going to skate on, if you can't tell from the surface, you're going to have to drill several holes. You know, maybe uh, it might even be every 10 meters, every 20 meters. And if you're doing that and you're still not sure, make sure you have somebody with you. Um, you know, take a couple of, you know, have somebody available when you're checking the ice with uh, you know self rescue equipment. Um, anyway, we're gonna I'm gonna do the uh, the ice check here just for the sake of it. Climber's ice screw works really well, and uh, here it is. Here I'll just show you how it's done. You don't actually need uh, you know an ice axe or anything like that. You can kind of get it started just just using a bit of pressure. And uh, so there I am it in and you can feel you know there's the ice coming out now and you can feel that I'm you know I'm in solid ice and if all of a sudden it gets easy to screw in or the ice starts, starts to come out then it may mean you've hit either an air pocket or you've hit water um, so you just keep drilling and noticing here, yeah, it's, you know, it's all, I'm still in solid, solid ice. I'm almost to the full depth of the screw. Still got great ice coming out. And, you know, as, as expected, I've got it all the way in and I still got ice coming out. And uh, this, you know, as, as I thought, this is bomber. So, and then you just take the ice screw out, just literally unscrew it, you know, same thing. But uh, in, in ice that's, you know, indeterminate, you know, you, you can take one of these and you can drill as many holes in a grid pattern, you know, um, and you can even mark your grid, you know. Um, mark your grid pattern if you got kids or things like that you can you know bring some flagging tape or put some rocks around and say this is the safe area where you can skate other people use uh, you know steel pickets screwdrivers those can work well I find this is super easy super simple and in probably less than a minute you can determine you know if you've got a safe ice thickness and uh, yeah, I wanted to give a bit of an update on that. In particular, I wanted to mention that here I got two feet of ice and I know I saw open water right over there. So it can, it can vary. And I also will, will uh, confess that I had four inches of ice in one spot and I was skating near the shore on another lake and I actually broke through because the ice was only an inch thick at a different spot. So I had self-rescue equipment with me. I had a partner with me, so I was able to climb out. But it can happen 
It happened to me, so be careful, use caution, and you know, there's you can't be over cautious on this stuff. That's all I want to say. Thank you very much, and we'll talk to you next time.